guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Gina and I have VSG on 425.22. I am down 61 pounds since my four month um, surgery day. And today we are doing something a little bit new. Uh, if you know me or have watched any of my other videos, you know I am a cheapskate and I am not embarrassed to say it. I like to save money. Well, one, because I don't have a lot, but two, um, it's just not feasible for a lot of us to, especially if we've had to pay out of pocket for surgery, um, to afford whatever we want food-wise. Um, so today I'm going to give myself the biggest challenge yet and try to meal prep uh, a whole week's worth of food for $40, which is not a lot in today's world with inflation, uh, unfortunately. So here's what the plan is. I have done lots of research. I have a shopping list kind of ready to go and I'll go over what the meals are. But there are a few rules um, that I'm going to stick by. So I cannot spend over $40. I took out cash for this sole purpose because if I have my debit card with, well, I'll have my debit card with me. But if I were using my debit card, it would be a lot easier to just go over that $40. And I don't wanna do that because some people only have a certain amount of money so that's what I'm going to stick to. So $40, that is it. If I don't buy it today, I can't have it. I'm not going to use, um, there are some things I'll use out of my fridge, but we'll go, we'll get into that later. The biggest rule is I will not drink a protein shake the next seven days. Um, I know that's a luxury item that one, they're expensive and they definitely would not fit in this budget anyway. Um, so I'm not going to include a protein shake. I'm going to try to get all of my protein from food only this week. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I lose or not. That's, I guess, a part of this as well, is that if I can plan healthy things and still lose weight and get all my protein in, all my water, um, and all my calories I need. So that'll be interesting. Uh, things I am not going to count and include in the $40. Um, spices, oils. Uh, seasonings. Um, like I have a big thing of like ranch seasoning. I'm not going to count that. Um, I think I have like, dr like oils, vinegars, dressings, kind of like that, like things like that. I'm not going to include, um, just because if I did, we would just be eating like plain chicken for seven days, which I'm not, I don't want to do. I'm going to assume you have something like that available already in your fridge. Um, and if not, then maybe you forego one of these things, pick up a seasoning, and then the, you'll have it for months and months. Um, so those are like my hard and fast rules. Um, the next part is going to be the shopping, which I'm a little nervous about. Um, I have a plan, but it depends on where I can get to one thing or not. So let's go over what we're going to make. Um, oh, you're on my phone. I was looking for... Oh. I was looking for my phone to pull up uh, my meal planner thing, but I'll go off my shopping list. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have like two breakfasty type things. Um, this way I can flip them around if I'm not feeling one. So the first thing we're just going to do eggs and turkey bacon. It's simple. It's easy. It's going to eat up a little bit of my budget because eggs are not cheap anymore, but I think I can find a dozen for like two, two ish dollars. Um, so That'll be like a good, easy, low carb, normal meal for me. Um, I can hard boil some, I can scrabble some, you know, the, op the, the options are endless. Uh, the next thing we're gonna make is like a, we're gonna try to do a chia seed overnight oats, which is not something I've had before. So we're gonna do a new meal, but the reason why I wanna do something like this, even with the, um, oatmeal, which is going to be a little more carb heavy than I would like, is because I also want the chia seeds. And this is where, this is going to depend on what I'm going to buy today, if I can find chia seeds at a decent price. Um, because one, they have a lot of fiber, which is really what I'm looking for is to, because with everything else I'm buying, it's very low carb. Obviously, we're not buying like a ton of filler things. It's just like protein, that's it. I need that extra fiber. Um, so, and chia seeds have like an amazing amount. 
So we're going to try to do that. It also helps with like um, a whole slew of other things. Just look up chia seeds. Uh, I'm going to throw some like in a drink. Oh yeah, I'm also not including um, like drink stuff. Like I have some tea, um, tea bags, things like that. I'm not going to include that in the $40. It's just stuff I have. Because you could, you could just drink water in place of what I'm going to have. Or like a crystal light packet. I'm going to add um, to like the chia seeds to make like a lemonade chia thing. Um, I'm not going to include the crystal light packet because again, I would have no money for anything else. Uh, so that, that was the other rule. So we're going to make like a banana chia oatmeal overnight thing. We'll see how it could, I don't know. I've never had it before. So hopefully it, it tastes good because I'm stuck with it for, I think we're going to make six batches of, of that. I'm stuck with it for a for all week. Uh, if it's not good, I'm still going to have to eat it, <laughs> which is probably the worst part of this, but I'm going to stick to it because I know there are people that need to do things like this. So I'm fortunate enough where I don't have to stick to a strict budget every week, but I want to, one, I want to save money myself and two, other people definitely need this. So those are like my two breakfasty things. For lunch, we're going to try to do like some taco salad. I'm just going to get some lettuce, sour cream, a little bit of cheese, and ground beef. That's an easy, super quick lunch. Um, dinner is where we're going to, it depends on the chia thing. Um, so I think, I'll, I'll keep explaining, but I, we're going to do um, like mozzarella stuffed chicken with some broccoli on the side. Uh, super easy and then I'm also gonna get some like cucumbers and then I have I'm gonna have sour cream with the taco stuff so we'll make like a ranch dip so I can have cucumbers um, and dip is just like a snack side and then if I have enough money I also want to get some pork chops and stuff those um, with like cheese and maybe some spinach if we can find it I'm, I'm everything I have listed is about 38 to $39. Um, so as long as I can find everything I need, um, my fear is that I'm going to go to, so we're going to go to Aldi, we're going to go to Walmart, and then we're going to go to a local fresh market first to see if they have the chia seeds like in a smaller quantity, because really to do this, I don't need like the whole entire bag today. I know I could like portion it out and figure out like, Oh, I only used a dollar's worth of chia seeds. But that's not realistic. Like, if you're doing this, you still need to buy the whole bag. And if you only have $40, I want I want to include that. There's not, I tried to look for like a bulk bin store around me, but there's really not one. Um, not one that I could find that had chia seeds. Only They only had like oats and stuff like that. But if I'm going to buy, you know, $2 thing of oats, like driving 40 minutes to save a dollar is, is not worth it for me. So, um so that's the rough plan. So today is just going to be shopping and going over all this. Um, and then obviously I will try to record in the grocery stores. It's still a fear of mine. Uh, I probably won't talk. We'll just kind of voice over and then I'll show you everything I pick up when I get home. But wish me luck. I think I'm going to have my mom come with me. She needs to pick up some stuff anyway. Um, so I'm going to take this $40 and we're going to get going. So wish me luck. shopping I've hit the fresh market and Walmart and now I'm left with three dollars and 78 cents that's all I have left the only thing I need to get at Aldi are eggs which should be about two ish dollars so I really only have an extra dollar to spend so we'll see if I can find something for a buck there that I can add in 
and yeah, let's see what we can find in Aldi. Okay, I am back. Let's quickly go over what I bought and then later I'll go over what the plan is. I got a head of lettuce, a can of black beans. I got a half a gallon of skim milk. We'll go over our receipts after, money-wise. A dozen eggs. Two packets of chia seeds. Thinly sliced chicken and pork to make some stuffed roll up -y things. One single banana. A cucumber. A bag of old fashioned oats. Turkey bacon. Mozzarella cheese, a brick of the reduced fat cream cheese, three yogurts, a bag of frozen spinach, and a bag of frozen broccoli. ground beef, some sour cream, and then I did have a little bit of extra money after we left uh, Aldi. So we stopped at Target and I got one can of chicken, uh, which we'll make something a little extra with that with. So let's go over my totals and the receipts. All right, here are my receipts. So let's start with the Fresh Market where I got a bulk of my meats. Um, and some of the fresh produce. So there I spent eleven fifty five, paid with cash. Um, I was really happy about the chia seeds because if they didn't have these for 99 cents an ounce, I would have had to have bought them at um, Aldi and they would have been, I would have had to spend $5 on a, like a whole giant bag when I don't need that much this week. So um, this market is more like Spanish influenced grocery, so I knew that they would have those bags. Um, like all the, it was with all the seasonings and like the bags with that label at the top. So definitely glad I went there to find those. Uh, then we went to Walmart. And then this, I got a majority of the other things. There were only the eggs were too expensive at both of these stores. Um, I think the most expensive thing I bought bought was my ground beef at 4.36. Uh, I guess the chicken was a little bit more expensive. So I mean most of my budget went to the proteins which is obviously what I need to be focusing on. So um, I'm happy with everything I got at Walmart. The, the yogurts were probably a little too much to spend but they're going to be part of my um, breakfast oats so I figured it was a good way of getting in some extra protein in those um, breakfasty items. Then I ran to Aldi and all I got there were eggs. I was tr gonna try to get something else for like a dollar, like crackers or a can of something, but everything was too expensive and I only had like an extra dollar to spend. So then we went to Target and I knew Target had canned chicken. Um, so I think I'm gonna make like a little thing of buffalo dip um, cause I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna count the sauce that I already have in my fridge. So it's just gonna be this part of the mozzarella I bought and half of the cream cheese I bought at Walmart. So that was only $1.40. So total I spent $39.60, which is pretty good. So I only have a couple cents left. And this is including in Illinois, they charge you for a tax. Um, even though supposedly state tax is cut off, um, local tax still apply. So it wasn't that much. It was probably about 30 cents total. Um, so that is factored into this price. But, so those are my receipts. 
Okay, editing me here because my closing clip did not work. Um, so that was everything I bought today. I'm really hoping it keeps me full. Um, I don't want to say I'm worried. Like, it seems like it should be enough food, but I don't know. It has to last me seven days. So hopefully, fingers crossed, wish me luck, that it will. Most of the time that I'm going to be doing this challenge, I'll be off of work. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, um, I don't have to work. So hopefully I can keep myself busy and not like want to eat everything. <laughs> um, and this is going to be like my loose plan for this week. So obviously I'm not drinking a protein shake, so that cannot be my first meal of the day when I wake up. So I'm going to make some sort of egg thing with um, turkey bacon uh, right when I wake up. Or not right when, but about a half hour after I wake up before work uh, those last couple days. And then two-ish hours later, I'm going to do my um, chia overnight oats kind of thing. Then a couple hours after that, I'm planning on doing a taco salad, just super easy. A couple hours after that. So that's three meals right there. So if I try to eat six times a day, I need three-ish more things. Um, so I should have enough um, to do like a... a I don't even know what you would call it, but it's like like a stuffed chicken breast kind of a thing for one meal with maybe some broccoli on the side. And then I also have um, the pork that I'm going to stuff with spinach and cheese also. Um, so I have like two different options for that. And then I'm also going to make some buffalo chicken dip um, as like a smaller side if I need to get some extra protein in or just calories in general. Um, and then the last thing with, like, I was, I was trying to think of, like, something else fun I could do, um, just, like, the remainder of the stuff I have, and since I have that half gallon of milk, I do have sugar-free chocolate Hershey syrup, so I could make, like, myself a small glass of chocolate milk for fun and not to waste the milk, so that'll probably be thrown in there to get a little extra calcium, uh, and protein that way. So that is my loose plan. Hopefully all this works out. So we'll see how it goes. I still have to finish meal prepping in the morning and then I will get to eating all this stuff. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below uh, and I'll get back to you. Um, but yeah, just wish me luck if you want real-time updates. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to post... I guess I can post some of my meal stuff on there because if people see it, they might be like, what the heck is going on? But um, I'll try to post real-time updates this week on how it's going. Um, so you can follow me there at gina.bsg if you want to stay tuned with how I get to eating all this stuff, definitely give, give a follow and uh, turn the notifications on so you can see what's coming up next. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.